Well Susan, it really is great to meet you after all this time. Yes, fancy bumping into each other again, Julie. This is a lovely restaurant. I am going to have some waffles with golden syrup after this steak. Would you like some? I would love some, but no thank you. I have diabetes and I have to be careful about what I eat. You have diabetes. My brother has diabetes too, but I do not understand what it is. Could you explain it to me? Sure, no problem. First of all, you need to know what happens to sugar in your food when you eat it. Carbohydrates in food are often made of long chains of simple sugars. These are broken down by enzymes into single units. The chain is broken down to individual links. Yes, I remember learning about enzymes in digestion at school. One of the most common, simple sugars, that carbohydrates are made of is glucose, and that is the one that matters in diabetes. The glucose is absorbed from the gut into the blood. Every cell in your body needs glucose, so the blood is supposed to have a constant level. Glucose is taken up by cells and is converted into energy to keep cells working. This next part is important. A hormone called insulin is released and signals to the liver to take up any spare glucose. The liver stores this glucose as glycogen. Did you say insulin was a hormone? Yes. A hormone is a chemical, released by a gland, that travels in the blood to a target organ, to cause a reaction. The pancreas is the gland that makes and releases insulin. So what is wrong in diabetes? I have type 1 diabetes. My own immune system has killed cells in my pancreas, they no longer make insulin. That means that the glucose can stay very high in my blood, which is bad. After eating, I need to inject myself with insulin to tell my liver to take up the excess glucose. The trick is to inject the right amount. If I get it wrong I could be very ill. What do you mean? How do you know how much insulin to inject? I test a drop of my blood after food. My machine tells me my glucose level. I then work out how much insulin to inject. However, exercise also helps take glucose out of the blood. There was one occasion when, after injecting my insulin, I met up with some of my friends and we played netball. Too much glucose was taken out of my blood and I collapsed. My goodness! That is why diabetes is such a serious condition. Absolutely. Anyway, as I said, my diabetes was caused by my immune system attacking my pancreas cells. There are other causes. It could be a faulty gene. Tell me about your brother. Well, he only got diabetes when he was 50. And he does not inject himself every day. It sounds like he has type 2 diabetes. This is caused when the cells do not respond well to insulin. This means that cells are not very good at taking in glucose. Sometimes it is because less insulin is produced, and sometimes it is because there are less insulin receptors on cells. Type 2 diabetes can be controlled by making sure your diet does not have very high sugar. Sometimes insulin injections or other medicines can be used. Thank you so much Susan. I understand diabetes much better now. Type 1 is where you don't make insulin, so you have to inject your own insulin after a sugary meal. Type 2 is where you don't respond to insulin so well. In both cases you need to be careful with your diet. If your sugar is too high, it can lead to rapid water loss and headaches. If your sugar is too low, you get tired and confused. Both extremes can lead to loss of consciousness and, if untreated, death. Where do you get your insulin from? People used to use insulin from pigs. Nowadays, we use human insulin grown in bacteria. It is an example of use of GM bacteria in medicine. I have had a rethink about the pudding. I think I will just have some local cheese. I am really glad I bumped into you. It has improved my understanding. Thank you.